The insert maths, higher level maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question five. So question five is a sequences and series question. The first three terms of an arithmetic se sequence are as follows. Uh, T1 is 2p plus one, T2 is 5p minus three, and T3 is 6p plus seven. Find the value of p. So I'm gonna find the value of these, uh, this p in here. If it's a, an arithmetic or an arithmetic sequence, that means that the common difference is equal. So we can say T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2. So T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2. So just sub them all in there. It's 5P minus 3 minus 2P minus 1 is equal to 6P plus seven minus five p plus three. Work it all out, p's to one side, numbers to the other, p is equal to seven. And that's worth a nice five marks to start you off. Part B, g7 is equal to six, g11 is equal to three over eight, are the seventh and the eleventh term of a geometric sequence, respectively. Find two possible values of or the common ratio. So you want to find two possible values of the common ratio of this sequence. So if we do the general term for the seventh and the eleventh uh, terms of geometric sequence, it's a or to the power of 10. That's the eleventh term. And I can divide it by the seventh term, which is a or to the power of 6. Well, that's gonna be the same as this divided by this. So that's equal to three over eight divided by six. Then we can simplify a cancels with a, uh, or to the six cancels with or to the 10. So the or to the six is gone and or to the 10 becomes or to the four. So we just have or to the four is equal to uh, 3 over 8 divided by 6, which is 3 over 48, which is simplifies down as 1 over 16. So I have or to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over 16. Take the fourth root of both sides to get or is equal to the fourth root of 1 over 16 is plus or minus a half. So the two values are plus a half or minus a half. And that again is worth five marks. Part C down of this question, a sequence of functions f0, f1, f2 is defined as follows for x, uh, element of real numbers greater than 0. f0 is x to the power of 20, 24. For n greater than or equal to 1, the function f of n is the derivative of f of n minus 1 with respect to x. Find f1 and f2 in terms of x. So. It sounds a bit more complicated than it is. It, what you need to know is as you move up each n, as in 0, 1, 2, it's the derivative of the previous one. So f of 0 is equal to x to the power of 20, 24. So if I differentiate that, I'll get f1. f1, differentiate, very simply multiply down by the power 20, 24, x to the power of 20, 23. And then if I want to find f2, you differentiate again. So f2 is equal to multiply down by the power. So that's 20, 23 multiplied by 20, 24 x to the power of 20, 22. So that's f1 and f2. No need to multiply these out. And as you continue on with f's, the pattern will continue. Um, so part two then, continuing on from that, find the first value of n for which f of n is equal to zero. So when is this thing gonna be equal to zero the whole time? Okay, when is it always gonna be equal to zero regardless of what value of x you have? Well, I know that x to the power of zero is equal to uh, one. I know that the next one then after that, if I differentiate x to the power of zero, I'll be multiplying by zero. So 
I'm going to follow this pattern here. Okay, so it's going to be um, the F of it. So working through this pattern here, when you get to 2024, let's just see what happens. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'd be multiplying down by each power 2024, 2023, 2022, etc. My last one, I'd be multiplying by one. Before that, I'd be multiplying by two. Before that, I'd be multiplying by three. Skip a few. Then I can go and multiply by 2023, 2023, 2024. And my power of x at this stage would be zero. So x to the power of zero is one. So that's not equal to zero because it's all those numbers multiplied. But if I differentiate one more time, I'm going to multiply by this zero. So the f of 2025 is equal to multiply down by zero, zero times one times two dot 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 times 2023 times 2024. And that'd be times x to the power of minus one. That doesn't matter because we're multiplying everything and we're multiplying by zero. So it's equal to zero. So it's n equal to 2025. That is the first time when f of n is equal to zero. And in fact, to any any uh, one after that, it'll be equal to zero because you multiply down by this minus one you still have the zero in there. So every one after that is gonna be equal to zero. This one is the first value. So this part C altogether was worth 20 marks. If you got either one of them right, you got 11. Um, and then if you got both of them right, you got 20. So they kind of said, waited it, that either one you got right was worth 11. But I'd say it would be difficult enough to get this one right without getting this one right. Okay. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.